Hello my soccer universe! This is a very special unpacking video. I'm really 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 excited about this one because it's a very very special shirt. I can promise you that. However, before that, if you've watched my video on how I'm running out of space and I'm letting go uh, of a few shirts, yes, this Argentina 2006 shirt that was a little bit beaten up has already sold and I'm about to ship it off. And I want to give it a last time on the channel. Um, and I will move the collection video that I made. I made about it to a playlist that I've created for out of the collection. Uh, so that one's gone. But one reason why I could let go of this one is not only that I have uh, two other Argentina home jerseys, the name of the one from 2008 and then the one from 2014. Um, and that I never really liked this particular one, but also have another Argentina jersey now in my collection. Um, and it's the one. The one from the last World Cup, complete with, of course, Messi. My first proper Messi shirt in the collection. A player that I always liked, but you know, I never got around to it uh, to get, add a Messi jersey. And yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased to have this one. However, the story behind it, and you know, I'm wearing the away jerseys as well, which is uh, for now without number. I'm actually thinking of getting uh, not Messi on, on, on there, but something like a McAllister or uh, Julian Alvarez have to think about it. But the story behind this one is equally interesting. You know, I told already a little bit about when I uh, showed it the uh, uh, two Milan jerseys that Idris had printed for me. This one he had also printed for me. But the reason that I have this now and I didn't get this sooner is that before the World Cup, honestly, this Ar Argentina jersey, I think that the one for 2014 looks a teeny bit better. I also think that the one from 2008, I mean, it's, it's a nice Argentina jersey. But it is, was not that special and I especially didn't like that we have this patch here. Uh, you know, just make a, either make it go all around or, so on, or make something special. Don't make this corner here. I don't like that. I also was not so super so to be honest. Uh, I think it's a nice feature, but this Argentina flag on the back, uh, it also looks a teeny bit weird. Don't you think? I mean, it's great and I love this sun here, but I think if they would have done this here, it would have been all, would have, would, have, would have been sufficient. At least this was my opinion. And then Argentina lost their first game against Saudi Arabia and I said, well, okay, I got this one. Yeah, I wanted to have it one. I like that, that one better, but yeah, they're not going to win the World Cup, potentially. However, I told my wife before the tour tournament, I said, yeah, this is the tournament Messi probably can win the World Cup. And then, you know, as the tournament moved on and I was behind Argentina up until they kind of played the Net Netherlands because I didn't like how both teams uh, behaved. And those were both my favorite teams left in the competition, which made it even more galling for me. Uh, it became clearer and clearer that he actually he might win it. I got very much enamored with the France shirt, which I of course got as well. But my wife was always saying, why don't you get a Messi shirt? Well, I was, during the workout, I was constantly looking on the Adidas web store. Um, I want to get a Messi shirt. And you could, uh, the only way where I could really get the authentic names was there. I could get here and there. I mean, it was sold out and it came back in, 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 in again. Uh, but it was always that... I could buy it, but without the messy names, that was the one name set that at the, once we reached knocker stage, I could not get anymore. And am I ready to buy it for that much money? That was another thing. Um, of course, once Messi won it, my wife kind of said, ah, you really should get it. And I don't, I don't care how much you're going to pay for it, although don't pay too much for it. In a way, and you know, then I saw it popped up. Uh, I think Idris helped there, like he helped here, helped a whole lot. Um, uh, it popped up at a French store here. I tried to buy it from uh, from, from there, it didn't happen. And then he found one uh, on Vinted in France, and he just sent it to me uh, in L, which honestly was not my favorite size size because i would like to have had it x xl but i said at the time okay let's get it let's get it uh let's be over with it and let's have it 
uh, I think it cost 80, 85, something like that. So it was, it was a tad cheaper than list price, but was not perfect. And then, yeah, my friend Andy sourced the name set and it was all about uh, him sending the name set to Idris to have it printed and have it shipped to me. And then by the end of January, I'll have it also, I thought. You already know what happened. The whole ransomware attack on British Mail happened. And we had to wait, and we had to wait, and we had to wait until suddenly in April, everything arrived. I sent it on to Idris. Idris printed it for me. I had it printed, uh, I think, as, as past foot. And I'm so thankful that he waited and had this printed for me and then had it shipped my way. Why did I have it printed in France? Because here in Linz it is just prohibitively expensive and the only other way I could have is that I make a press myself. Could have also tried it with the iron, but honestly not on a shirt that I really, really, really care about. My first messy shirt, it was important to me to not get the one with the cup, with the winner's patch and the three stars. I wanted to have the one like it was worn at the World Cup and I don't know how many people go crazy that they want to buy that the, the jersey with the star added. For me it was always about the one that they actually wore it in the final or at least the replica version. But I'm not done yet with that and I'm very 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 pleased to have uh, this I found actually then and I didn't like them when they came, came, came out but I found on eBay for a rather reasonable price the patches and I bought a few more uh, potentially to add to this one or to, or, or to the France shirt just for uh, it was kind of a bulk buy yeah, bulk, bulk buy about three sets but uh, they were reasonably priced I think I got them for five euros each um, so I will add those two to the sleeves yes I know they're not the, the, the Europe bad pack patches are so 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 much better and then I also have the match details, which I will add at one point uh, as well. And I'm very pleased to have that. So we will add this to the shirt. And then I have a full patched up messy shirt. And you will see the result when I make the collection video for this shirt. This shirt, I can tell you right now, it is with the tags. Right here, tag is hanging. So very happy with that. It's an L, that's maybe the one little, teeny little downer, but with Adidas I could pull an L off as well. So we have that, we have the tags, we'll get the patches applied one way or another. And yeah, then this will be a museum piece probably hung on this wall here. I have to see which jersey I will replace it with, potentially in my Netherlands 2014 shirt, because that's the least uh, precious one in a way, although it adds. A nice spark so yeah very 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 pleased with this one of course thanks are in order first of all for Idris to Idris for actually finding this one for me and having the names that applied taking the time storing it thank you very much for that and also thank you Andy uh, who also bought himself a messy name that he located it he bought it um, so it's a work of three people. I had to pull out the money and they did it all for me. And I am super grateful to have great friends like you guys. Short community is the best overall. Any case, let me know if you like this jersey as well. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!